All right, let's get to weather this morning because we're looking at some snow bands still working their way through our area. You can see all this white and blue on the screen there. That is some snow bands working their way through the higher elevations as well as towards the southern part of the western slope towards Delta, Olathe, and Montrose for this morning. You can really see them start to push through. They actually started around midnight last night, starting to pick up a little bit of some precipitation. But into the Grand Valley and into Glade Park, you're really not seeing anything for this morning. Different story, though, as we head down south towards Delta, Olathe, and Montrose. We're now starting to see just a little bit of some of those snow flurries starting to pick her up around Olathe and Montrose. Not very much as far as accumulation goes. Different story, though, as we head up into the higher elevations, you can see those snow bands really starting to pick up into Carbondale as well as into Aspen for this morning. Matter of fact, let's take a look at our road conditions for this morning because we're very snowy for a big portion of our area. Into Vail Pass, you're looking at very snow covered roads and very icy conditions. Only a little mixture of some rain and snow into Glenwood Springs, appearing as some very wet roads into that part of our region. But Snowmass near Aspen, yeah, they're looking at some snow starting to fall into their area. And Olathe, even though it doesn't really look like much is happening on this camera, it's actually starting to fall into a mix of some rain and some snow. So there are some icy conditions right around Highway 50. So if you're traveling out to I-70 or Highway 54 this morning, be very careful because we are looking at some very icy conditions starting to build up on the roads and we don't want you to get caught in any adverse conditions. A little bit of a different story though, as we look into our America's Mattress Live Tower camera into the Grand Valley, we're seeing lots of clouds building up in to our region, but for the most part, we're just staying pretty cool. And the reason most of that snow has deposited towards the southern part of the western slope and into the higher elevations is if you look at our wind map, you can see most of the winds here coming from the northwest and a lot of the winds right there coming from the southwest. That's all because a cold front is right there still working its way through our state right now. But we're going to stay pretty cool for today. Our temperatures are into the 30s and 40s right now. And we also see some weather alerts. We have a freeze warning in effect for the areas in the purple right there and a winter weather advisory for some winter-like driving conditions up into the higher elevations for today. We'll see all of that snow go away right around the mid-morning hours, and then they'll finally get out of here by noontime, and then we'll start to see a warming trend. Here's a look at our seven-day forecast. 47 for today, 51 for tomorrow. We'll see partly cloudy skies through the morning, but then much clearer conditions for the end of the week, and temperatures will be in the 60s for the weekend. For Montrose, we have a high of 44 for today, 48 for tomorrow, and clearer conditions as of tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be right back.